let's talk about what AI actually is. So what is AI? Well, actually, this is a big discussion we have to have as a field. What is AI? Well, we're going to be building machines, software, you know, that does something. What's our goal? What does it mean to build an artificial intelligence? Well, there have been multiple schools of thought on this. One school of thought is what we should really be doing is building machines that think like people, right? Intelligence is about thinking, and this is artificial. What's the natural intelligence? I guess that's us. So we want to build these machines that somehow go through the thinking processes that people do. All right, there is actually a science that studies this, and it's not really AI anymore, right? This is uh, some mix of cognitive science and computational neuroscience really trying to understand the brain. And it's very important, but it's not what this course is going to be about. So another thing that people at times have thought AI should be is we should be building machines that act like people. Okay, so we should say, who cares about how they think, right? They can think in some strange alien silicon way, but the action, the behavior has to be like what we know from people. This was actually a very early definition. This is straight from uh, Alan Turing, the definition that really all you can do is check behavior. Is the behavior like an intelligent human? So this led to things like the Turing test, where you put a robot on one chat channel and a human on the other, and then you have an interrogator who chats with both of them and tries to say that one was the robot and that one was the human. And this is a really good idea, because provided you can't actually see them, like so there's no video, right? Or you know the, the robot's the one with the blinking lights, right? So provided it's just over chat, you can really kind of test anything. It's open-ended. Do they have hobbies? Can they answer a general question about a chess configuration, right? The problem was the Turing test, in order to really do well, you don't just really concentrate on programming intelligence. You concentrate on things like, don't spell too well. Humans don't do that, right? So you build in some typo machines. And then you think, oh, wait a minute. If I get asked about the square root of 35, I better not have an answer, right? <laughs> and so you go through basically trying to mimic things that probably you didn't really value in the human in the first place. On the other hand, you've got to be really sure that you have a favorite Shakespeare play, because the interrogator always asks that. OK. That's thinking like people and acting like people. And the realization was this really wasn't going anywhere in terms of building machines that were useful in, say, industry. And so the realization was maybe it's not about mimicking people. We've already got those, right? Maybe we should do something else. Maybe what we should be doing is building machines that think rationally. So whatever thought processes are, they should be correct. Well, what does it mean to have a correct thought process? It's a very kind of prescriptive thing. And this actually has a long history in the logicist and philosophy tradition going all the way back, say, to Aristotle's laws of thought. This is how you think in order to kind of not make a mistake in your deductions. And this tradition actually still shows up in various places of AI. By and large, this wasn't the winner. And the reason it wasn't the winner is because our ability to write down how to do logical deduction turned out to be relatively fragile. And in any case, when we were learning about how to incorporate uncertainty, we also had this realization that really it wasn't about how you think, but about the actions you take in the end. So the winner for this course is AI, for us, is the science of making machines that act rationally. So what's that mean? We only care about what they do. And our requirement on what they do is that they achieve their goals optimally. So you may be looking at this, and you may be thinking, OK, rational. Rational means I have a level-headed decision, and I don't get angry. So we want to build machines that don't get angry. Well, you know, I don't know. Uh, if you think back to GLaDOS, maybe that's good. Maybe we shouldn't build machines that get angry. Um, Skynet got a little angry. Um, so maybe we shouldn't build machines that get angry. But when we say rational, that's not what we mean. Rational has a very technical meaning. It means that you maximally achieve your predefined goals. So the input to an AI is a goal. And then rationality means you achieve it in the best possible way. Rationality only matters what you do. It doesn't matter the thought process you go through. right? If I have a robot vacuum cleaner, and it just makes some optimal grid on the ground and cleans up all the dirt, great. If it sits in the corner and thinks, all right, where shall I clean? Well, if I go diagonally, there will be a place left over. And then it cleans everything up, fine. It doesn't matter. They're equally rational for that task in that context. There may be advantages to the thinking robot. There may be advantages to the kind of more reactive reflex robot. We'll talk about that in the next class. Goals are all expressed through utilities. So we're going to spend a lot of time in this course talking about what a utility is. Um, and in the end, remember that being rational means maximizing your expected utility. OK. So this course, really, we should have called it computational rationality. We're going to teach you computational methods. This is a computer science course. And it's going to all be about this idea of rationality, maximally achieving your goals. OK, you say, what about artificial? Well, I didn't really say anything about artificiality. That's kind of orthogonal. And what about intelligence? Well, intelligence was a tricky thing. The philosophers are still working on that. When they get back to us on what intelligence is, well, probably we'll just ask them then what consciousness is. But when they get back to us on intelligence, we're going to say, that's great, but we're working on rationality right now. OK. So, 
if you remember nothing else in this course, or if you decide that you really want an AI tattoo, and you need to distill this entire course down to kind of one thing, it would be this. It would be maximize your expected utility. And we're going to spend this entire course thinking about computational systems that do this. And in order to do that, we've got you know, however many weeks left in which we will unpack this definition. The first part of the course deals with a maximize. How do I figure out which action is best? That has to deal with the consequences of that action, the context of that action, are there adversaries? We're then going to have to unpack this idea of utility. What is a utility? What does it mean to have a function that describes my goals? And then, kind of the kicker in here that's a little bit hidden is, what is this deal about expectation? Well, if I take an action, I don't know what's going to happen. So my optimization of goals rationally doesn't deal with being successful. Life is full of risks. It has to do with doing the right thing in kind of the appropriate kind of weighted average. And so we're going to have to unpack this notion of what it means to do the right thing on average, and that'll get us into probabilistic inference, and that will occupy the middle third of the course.